Hey guys, this is Trainer Dave here. I want to discuss with you an exercise that I really like. Um, I use it a lot in my warm-up and then warm-ups for my athletes a lot too. And I think it's really beneficial for uh, patients, for athletes, any type of client. Um, the premise, basically what we're going to teach you to do is how to teach your clients to come up, stand up from a laying position and then go back down to a laying down position. Uh, this exercise is great for activating muscles, uh, in whole slew of muscles that can be a total body exercise and then even for helping work on some mobility in different areas. Um, it can get, it's pretty scalable too. You can make it easier and harder as it needs to be. Basically the exercise I'm going to take you through today is the Turkish get up. Um, so many of you might be familiar with it. I'm going to just teach you how to do it and then even ways you can make it easier for older patients. So to start off, you want your patient to lay in the ground one arm straight up, I'm not going to use any weight right now, but it's really important to keep every muscle activated, yes, but even if you're not using weight, it's good practice. So, arm straight up, you want to keep the shoulder kind of packed in a little bit. So now we're going to work shoulder stability too. The same leg and shoulder are going to be up. The other leg's going to be out at about 45 degrees, and the other hand is going to be out at the same distance as the leg. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to tell the patient to pull from the hand and to push from the foot. And they're just going to roll onto their other, just like so. Next, you're going to tell them to push through the foot and push through the hand and come up to their hand. All the while keeping their arm overhead, keeping their eyes on their fist. After that, they're going to push through the foot, push through this foot, and push through this hand and come up into a bridge. Now we're getting some glute activation. Next. You're going to bring the leg, and I like to say sweep it, so that this back leg is 90-90 with the, with the front leg. Alright, so you got a 90 degree angle, and this is the part a lot of people can confuse on. Usually they, when they sweep the leg, they come right into a lunge position. You want to make sure you keep your center of gravity stable the whole time. Uh, especially for some athletes, I have them using pretty heavy weight. You want to make sure this stays stable. The next thing you want to do is now you come to a point where you're at a normal lunge position, all the while keeping the weight overhead, keeping your eyes on the weight, all right? This is, again, the whole entire time we're trying to keep center of gravity positioned right over the rest of the body. All right, next, we're gonna stand up, and now you're gonna look straight ahead, take your eyes off the weight. All right, so that's the first half of the Turkish get up. Second half is the exact same thing, except now we're gonna work backwards, all right? So you step back, do a reverse lunge, come down to that normal position, move this leg, keep your center of gravity. Now, drive through the hips, get those hips up, all while keeping your center of gravity. Sit down, come down to the elbow, come back down. Now, for some of our older patients, they might not be able to get anywhere near that. All right, so what you can do is just work the core and just even practice them rolling onto their elbow. You can put something underneath them to kind of prop them up a little bit and just practice using that core to just roll onto the elbow and get that core activation. And even that alone can be a valuable exercise. Maybe for a patient you want to do a little extra shoulder mobility work, have them come up to the elbow and have them just do some windows, half kneeling rotations or whatnot. But as you can see, there's different ways you can get creative with this. It's a very valuable exercise that works everything from shoulder mobility mobility to shoulder stability to hip mobility to hip activation and everything in between. Uh, so there you have it, the Turkish get up.